The Edit Entries screen is where you can make changes to your existing entries. You can change the start and end time, or modify the duration, or change the hourly rate. You can also account for breaks, and make adjustments for things like tips, or mileage. The Add New Entry screen, offers similar features. This tour will apply to that screen too. Let's tour the available options. Job, tap here to move this entry to another job. Start and end, select a start or end time using the time picker. If you are adding a new time entry, hours tracker will suggest the default start time based on existing entries. As a shortcut, you can long press the start or end time to set it to now. Use the shortcut buttons to save scrolling while picking a time. The lower left shortcut button helps you quickly pick a time near one that you've recently picked. Tap the 5 minutes button in the upper toolbar to select from 5 minute increments. Tap it again to go back to picking by the minute. Duration You can quickly enter a duration using the keypad. Use the period key to quickly move between the hours and minutes fields, or simply tap on either field. You can also enter only minutes, such as 90 minutes. If you prefer the scrolling picker, tap the keypad button in the upper toolbar. Long press a shortcut button, such as the plus 30 minutes button, to set that duration. Tap a shortcut button repeatedly to quickly add that much time to the selection. The lower left shortcut button helps you quickly pick a duration that you've recently picked. When you pick a duration, Hours Tracker will adjust either the start or end time. If you last picked a start time, picking a duration will adjust the end time. If you last picked an end time, picking a duration will adjust the start time. Hourly Rate Each time entry has an hourly rate, initially set from the job that the entry belongs to. Changing the time entry's hourly rate does not affect other entries. Tags. Apply custom reusable tags to this time entry. These tags optionally appear in exports and can be used with filters to control what is shown in the entries and pay periods reports. Comment. Here you can type a comment or description that applies to this time entry. These comments can optionally appear in exports. Tap the Add Break button in the lower toolbar. To add a break to this time entry, breaks are subtracted from the time entry's duration, and their start and end times are saved with the time entry. Breaks also appear in exports. Selecting the start time, end time, and duration for a break is done just like for a time entry. You can add as many breaks as you need. Tap the X button to remove a break. Tap the Adjust button in the lower toolbar to make adjustments for things like tips or mileage. Start by selecting the type of adjustment. You can adjust the earnings or the duration of the time entry. You can also enter a brief note for each adjustment. These notes will appear in exports. If your adjustment adds earnings, you can indicate if the earnings are taxable or not. This affects how the pay periods report estimates your net pay. When entering an Add Earnings or Subtract Earnings adjustment, you can choose how the adjustment amount will be determined. Choose Flat Amount to enter the adjustment amount yourself. Choose Per Hour and Hours Tracker will multiply the amount you enter by the duration of the time entry. Choose Per Unit to enter an amount per each and a number of units. The amount and number of units details will appear in Exports. Tap the X button to remove an adjustment. Tap the Split button in the lower toolbar 
To split this time entry into multiple time entries, the time entry will be modified so that it ends at the split start. A new time entry will be created, starting at the split's end time, and ending at the original time entry's end time. Tap the Delete button in the lower toolbar to delete this time entry. This is only available for existing time entries, 